Greetings, Rising Ground Church. Something and someone is trying to feed you lies. Now, what I mean by something is thoughts. Thoughts are trying to remind you of past seasons, past moments, um, anything from your past that you know that you have been set free from, that you know that you've moved past, and they're trying to feed you lies and tell you, look, this is where you're still at. This is where you've messed up. This is where you haven't been set free or delivered from. And God wants you to be very, very careful that you do not intake or digest those lies. Now, you have to remember, even sometimes when you're set free from a season, from an addiction, from um, even just past moments, Sometimes it doesn't always look like that in the natural. You will still have moments around you where it feels like, Lord, you said I was set free from this, but it still looks like I'm caught in this trap. No, if God has told you that you're set free, if he's told you that you've moved past something, then accept that, believe that, you meditate, you eat on that, and you allow that truth to nourish your spirit. You allow that truth to nourish your soul. You allow the word of God to feed you. Now, sometimes that's scripture. Sometimes it's something from the Bible, but it also can be a prophetic word. It can be a rhema word that the Lord has given you. If God has told you something, he's promised you something. And even if yet and still, it doesn't look like it in the natural, but yet he's spoken it to you. You feed on that and you let it strengthen you. Don't allow the spoiled, the expired, the rotten food to come into your body. Now, the rotten food are lies. The rotten food are words from people. The rotten food are, are words from naysayers and from negative people that are trying to tell you that you're doing something wrong. They're trying to tell you, no, you need to go back. You need to go back to what you once knew. You need to go back to that job. You need to go back to that relationship. You need to go back to that marriage. You need to go back to that city that you moved from. Whatever it is, if you know that it is spoiled, that it is rotten, and it is not from God, you do not allow your mouth to taste it. You do not allow yourself to touch it. Do not allow those lies to come into your thoughts, to take root, to take habit, within you. Do not allow it. No, you reject it and you say, no, I am not eating of that. I only eat from the word of God. I eat what the spirit of God has spoken in my spirit. I know it may not look like it in the natural. I know it may not look like it in the natural that I'm thriving, that I'm prosperous, that I'm healthy, that I'm wealthy, that I'm successful, and that I'm moving in the flow of God. I know it may not look like it right now, but that's what God has said. And that's what I believe. That is the season that that I am in. That's where I choose to take place, to take root and to stand in. So you let that be your truth. Do not continue to allow the lies of your family, of friends, of your thoughts, of the enemy to feed you. But no, you feed on the word of God. You stand your ground. You stand firm and you know that the Lord has your back because this is the thing. If the Lord has given you a word, then not only is he faithful to do it, but he's telling you to be faithful to stand in what he has spoken over you to do. So stand in that truth today. Allow the word of God to nourish your spirit and reject and spit out. You spit out anything else that does not line up with that. Love you all. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.